This is the newest and hottest museum in Orange County, California right now. Let's go inside. I'm going to show you around. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. This is the main entrance to the lobby. There's a little check-in desk there at the front. A neat part of this museum. Admission is free for the next 10 years. Now, going into the galleries, they've got this sign to tell you how to enjoy the museum. So, as we walk down this hallway, I'm going to tell you what they say. You might want to be thinking about this as we're walking through. They say, first, take a minute to ground yourself. Take an inhale, then an exhale. Consciously relax your body, calmly relax your mind. Then as you're looking at the art, ask yourself five questions. What am I observing? Is there anything that seems familiar or reminds me of myself? Like this eraser seems pretty familiar. Did you have one of these when you were in school? The third question to ask yourself as you go around the museum is, how do I feel and how would I describe that feeling to someone else? Number four, what surprises me? And number five, do I care? Now, this museum is modern and contemporary art. And so there's things like this. This looks like a big marble cube, but actually, it's full of ink, black ink. It's actually liquid on the top. That's pretty neat. You get up close, you can see it. That machine in the back, that's a machine to print and capture and make ghosts. Oh, by the way, you saw a mannequin in there. That was a self-portrait of the artist that made that cube full of ink. There's a white piece of art here hanging in this room. I didn't get a chance to have that explained to me, but those other two pieces, one of the friendly staff members let me know what those were. And so actually, the staff is really cool in this museum. Not every piece is really well described, but all the staff members are happy to describe it for you. Now, taking a look at this. This was kind of an interesting piece that I saw over here, which just looked like something that, well, I'm not even sure that I know how to describe it. Going back this way, in addition to like paintings and statues, they also had some multimedia art, but this art was actually someone who makes like porcelain statues and then they were wearing them and doing like some yoga in that video. Going into this room, through the glass back there, you can see that's the gift shop right at the lobby. Uh, and then over this way, these are some neat speakers that were glittered up. Uh, and then it said on the sign that these uh, were purchased at TJ Maxx Home Goods, you know, before they were bedazzled there. This is a interesting, you know, platypus three-legged looking statue. And going back this way, this was some pretty neat art that was made of like fruit and vegetable boxes. You can see on the left, that painting is on banana boxes. And then these are on Pacific gold russet potato boxes. So that's a pretty creative art. Now going back into this final room of the ground floor, and then we're gonna head up to the mezzanine and then the top floor, there's this kind of wolf that uh, like a person could be in and the wolf is entirely made of cardboard like layers and layers you can see all the different layers of cardboard to give it that texture right there they've got some native american art here in the back that's like capturing some energy back here in the room looks a little bit like a dream catcher perhaps but it's got some arrows that are on it and then this sculpture looked like somebody carrying a satellite, but the satellite looked like it was a suitcase because it actually had a little handle that you could pull it along. So pretty relevant here for Yellow Productions travel guides. All right, this little hallway uh, on the right is a window to the Avenue of the Arts. That's the street out there. And then it's got some art on the left of it. As we head up this staircase, we'll head over to the mezzanine. But while we're walking up this staircase, I wanna let you know this museum, while it just opened in October of 2022, so it's pretty new. The museum itself has actually been around for 60 years in various different locations, uh, and so this is their newest location here. And really is just neat to frankly walk around, even if you maybe don't appreciate and understand the art, which you can clearly tell if you're an art aficionado that I'm I'm not, uh, but I did definitely enjoy walking around here. It reminds me of a kind of a smaller, quainter version of the Broad in downtown Los Angeles. And the building, they've got these little like nooks that you can look out from the mezzanine level to look out on the ground floor. 
And then this exhibit here was pretty neat. These were all um, parabolas, you know, basically things that you can kind of like look through that are made out of different materials and different colors. If you want to get one of the most unique selfies here in the museum, just kind of like put put your friend or your camera on the other side of one of these. I just enjoyed kind of like looking through each one of these to see kind of how it made things look different. You know, when they say like, hey, are you wearing like rose colored glasses? Maybe that's what it looks like to look through rose colored glasses. And then this one right here, felt like uh, if I was making, you know, 2001 A Space Odyssey, what kind of like HAL 9000, the camera, maybe like what they saw would look through something like this, really sci-fi and trippy. If you don't do stairs, there are elevators to go up to these different floors. And then over here, another part looking down into that first room that we went to in the museum. Now this museum's new, and so uh, this is the first set of exhibits, but I'm sure these exhibits are gonna rotate and there'll be different art if you come here in you know, a couple years when you're looking back on this video. There's a little interesting catwalk here to connect to the other side of the building, and looking down is the lobby where we started the video, the check-in desk, where they do ask you to check in and provide your zip code, and then they give you a little blue sticker that you put on your shirt that you see everybody wearing around, which I thought was interesting. They make you wear a sticker even though admission is free. I I guess it tells them that you told them your zip code. Uh, all right, and now we're gonna head up to the, um, I call it the third floor, maybe they call it the second because they call that other one the mezzanine. Uh, and up on this floor, the first thing we come up to is the bar where you can get some alcoholic beverages, cocktails. Uh, I should point out in the lobby where the gift shop was or where the gift shop is, just behind the gift shop there is a uh, coffee shop so you can get coffee down the ground floor and this bar is the sweet james bar yes sweet james the attorney that maybe you've seen on billboards around and then in the back is a vegetarian restaurant now i didn't eat there so i can't vouch for you how good or bad it is we actually had lunch over at south coast plaza orange county's like mega luxury shopping mall that is just about three or four blocks away i should point out parking here there's no free parking like the parking in the area they charge for the parking structures around here just kind of like suck it up and pay uh, but there is one sculpture out here right now this like sort of bedazzled sculpture that's out here I can imagine there might be more art coming out here as this museum continues to exist get a little older and then you can see the tall office buildings of this area well, there you have it, fellow explorers. If your travels bring you to Orange County, California, and you want to check out some pretty neat modern contemporary art on the cheap, in fact, for free, then definitely check out the Orange County Museum of Art. Now, if you are coming to Orange County, you might enjoy checking out some more of my videos right here on the screen. Here's my whole playlist and one of my favorite locations, Laguna Beach, the best beach in Orange County. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in one of those videos.